hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys the first thought that comes to your mind at least that came to my mind was that uh, this should have happened a long time ago and what took them so long so guys i bring you this fashion roti clark Umodo, 13 orders su buhari over lopsided appointments so now well done first, but then uh, Malam Buhari has been uh, appointing only his Fulani tribesmen all the way through his regime uh, from 2015 till date. He will appoint about a uh, hundred uh, Fulani chaps into key positions, and then as an afterthought, he will appoint about five Yoruba people and one Igbo person, and he will tell you that he's doing federal character. So this has been happening uh, all the way through for his first term and into his second term now. So what took them so long to arrive at this now? excellent decision to at least take to court because of course you don't expect a uh, fashion rati or chief clerk or umodo to be taken to the streets like ashoware or uh or so or people like that or to be doing nandekano so what they can do is what they are doing now so again that headline fashion rati clerk umodo 13 orders so Buhari overlooked sided appointment. So now let's uh, see how this uh, battle is commencing. Eminent social cultural leaders from southern and middle belt Nigeria have sued the president, Major General Mohamed Buhari, retired for 50 billion naira over marginalization of the people of the region in the appointments to security, quasi security agencies and strategic agencies of the government. The 16 plaintiffs filed the suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 595 slash 2020 at the Federal High Court in Abuja on June 8, 2020. Amongst the plaintiffs are an Ijo leader, Chief E.K. Clark, the Afeniferi leader, Chief Ruben Fashionati, President General of Ohaneze in Digbo, Dr. John Umodo, a leader of the Middle Belt people, Dr. Uh, Pogu Bitros. So Pogu Bitros, uh, a name that I wasn't familiar with. Uh, the, uh, actually, there are more names. Let me just read you the rest of the names, then we'll uh, just uh, sum it up. So the rest are Alajiti Janibaba, Tunde, Mrs. Rose, Obo Firobo, uh, Mr. Ade Kole Ajigo, and Dr. Charles Nwakeku. So, uh, what else is there to add? The Federal Republic of Nigeria, Buhari, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami SAN, the Clerk of the National Assembly, Mohamed Sani Omar Lori, and the Federal Character Commission are the defendants sued in the suit. The suit was instituted on behalf of the defendants by 10 senior advocates of Nigeria comprising Solomon Ashimoto, Tijani Anyalaga, Chuka Moama, Abad Akpeomoji, Tayo Oyetobi, Pius Okubo, Mrs. Nella and them Rabana, Mike Ozokome, Akin Pelu, Oni Binde, and Ebon Olu Ade Boruwa. So those are the uh, people suing, and those are the lawyers that they are using. And the suit, of course, is long overdue. And the people who should really institute uh, this suit are the people actually instituting it because the names that you want to read are, are the names that you are seeing. So it's a virtual rejection now uh, by the entirety of uh, Nigeria of the uh, Malambohari regime. Because if we look at the names of the persons taken to law, then uh, you would see that this is Nigeria. Chief Edwin Clark, we all, we all of course know he represents uh, the South, yeah, South broadly because the one prominent voice, if you want to uh, gauge the temperature of the South South and you can't go around every household in that South South, you 
listen to what our chief Edwin Clark has to say and that gives you a broad feel of the sentiments in the South South. So that is the voice of the South South. Now, Chief Ruben Fashionotti, if you want to gauge what the Yorubas are really saying, then you listen to what our Chief Edwin Clark is saying. Yes, there are several prominent names within Yoruba land. There's a uh, Wale Shoenka, there's Obasanjo, etc. We won't mention Tinobo because, of course, Tinobo is partisan and is only after self-interest, although he will tell you that he's the leader of the Southwest, but only a fool will believe that he's not the leader of anything other than the uh, Ghana must go politics that goes on within that region. So, park Tinobo to one side, but the real voice, the independent and distinct voice that speaks without bias or self-serving is really par fashion roti no other voice but it's no other voice that you want to hear from the yoruba people especially when it comes to the politics of that space other than par fashion roti yes we have the only who is also a voice we have the uh a laughing who is also a voice but when it comes to the voice of the common man or the feel and tempo and temperature of the yoruba uh, space then really you go to par fashion roti so that's that one and now of course uh, if you go to the Igbo uh, people to the southeast the names that you want to be uh, hearing are names like uh, Dr. John Ngodo because Dr. John Ngodo is nobody's fool he stands firm he stands by his beliefs and he stands uh, especially for his people there are very few people who are more passionate about their people and especially the Igbo people than dr john umodo you know dr john umodo he, he he would go to any length for the uh Igbo people and uh, i forget the other name some senator uh, so senator abaribe as well so when you listen to those two voices then you get a real feel of what the Igbo people are thinking. Dr. John Umodo and Senator Abaribe. So forget Nandi Kano, he's like just a militant wing. But if you want to get a real uh, measured uh, feel of, of the texture of the Igbo sentiment, then you listen to voices like uh, uh, Senator Abaribe and uh, Dr. John Umodo. So that's the feel of the Igbo people. And then, of course, the middle bit now, their champion, Dr. Pogu Beatrice. I don't know that much about him, but if he's standing in uh, solidarity, shoulder to shoulder, with uh, Parfashan Roti, Edwin Clark, and Dr. Umodo, then he must be of equal measure amongst his own people. So who exactly is... Uh, for Buhari is uh, where the question is because this is a rejection now by the Yoruba people per fashion roti. this is a rejection by the people of the South South uh, per Edwin Clark this is a rejection by the Igbo people uh, Dr. John Umodo and this is a rejection by the people of the Middle Belt uh, Dr. Pogu Beatrice. So who now is for this guy? You know, if he's a king of the north, then he should be a king for the north because he's been a king for the north and ruling with a heavy bias towards his own people to the point that these elderly people have uh, had and um, felt the need to get out of their rocking chairs in their Porsche, in their four courts, in their vast estates to come out into the public space to start fighting again. These are people in their late uh, 70s, early 80s, broadly speaking, of course. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what their ages are, but these people broadly are people in their late 70s, early 80s. People who should be just putting their feet up by now and just drinking palm wine and eating bushmeat. They have uh, felt the need now to, to come back into the trenches to continue this fight against these same characters that we have fought against traditionally within that uh, Nigerian space, the Malamis. Conversations in the comment section, the Yorubas reject him, the Igbos reject him, the Middle Belt uh, people reject him, so who are for him? If you are for Malam Buhari, then come tell me why uh, in the comment section. But before you do that, 
click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me uh if and why you are for uh malam buhari in the comment section so i'll leave you here join you in the comment section but here i say peace